Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another interesting review and another revised video from uh, from Bavaria, of course. Um, as you know, I really love Bavarian vice beers, so um, it's something special for me to um, to look forward to when I'm gonna try a Bavarian vice beer. This is from uh, the Unartel vice beer brewery in uh, Hag in Oberbayern, so it's from the uh, very south of south of Bavaria and. Um, as I said, it's a Weissbier brewery, a brewery that only is brewing uh, Weissbiers and there's um, yeah, quite many Weissbier uh, breweries in, in Bavaria uh, producing only Weissbiers. I could mention a few Kuschelbauer, Meisels, um, Schneider, Schofferhofer, Erdinger, Benediktiner and uh, yeah, many more. Uh, but this is looking like this, quite big. Weissbier Brauerei Unertel uh, Weissbier It's of course their original as you can see their big one they do have some other uh, types also but this is their normal one their best seller which is gonna be really um, interesting to try Mit frischer Hefe Unertel Weissbier Original Kühl und Dunkel Lagern um, Special Weissbier Brauerei Das Weissbier mit Tradition Unertel DE is the link to the brewer's website I'll link to it in the description box below as always Der Weissbräu aus Hage in Oberbayern um, 4.9 ABV which is quite normal for um, for a Weissbier Seit vier Generationen Zutaten, Wasser, Weissenmalz, Gersenmalz, Hopfen, Hefe um, and uh, the f interesting thing about this brewery is that it was uh, formed by the son of another uh, brewery um, which also is called Unertel Brauerei and this one is called Unertel Weissbier Brauerei so it's almost the same names at the two uh, breweries but they are coming from uh, today they are located in in different towns which is not that far away from each other but the other um, town is Mühldorf am Inn where the Brauerei Unautel is located and this brewery Weissbier Brauerei Unautel which this beer is uh, brewed from is located in uh, Hag in Oberbayern so those are two different towns I'm gonna show you the other uh, bottles that I'm having from the other brewery uh, which is called Brauerei Unautel in uh, Mühldorf I mean, and it's there this one uh, which is their Mühldorf of Weissbier and I have their Hell also called Urertel Hell so um, don't uh, consider this as I believe that it's the same breweries because it's not uh, it's two separate breweries but the founder of this um, brewery which is called Weissbier Brauerei Unertel was the son of um, the man who um, who formed the uh, Brauerei Unertel from which I did show the other two bottles so the other two comes from Mühldorf I mean, and this brewery is coming from Hagen Oberbayern uh, so um, with that said it's quite uh, not that easy to tell the history of this brewery without mentioning the uh, history about the other brewery that was uh, first uh, and it was uh, in 1929 that the other brewery was uh, created by the um, Alua Unertl um, and uh, his son did uh, did move in 1948 to the Hagen town and uh, did found his um, his uh, Unertel Weissbier Brauerei uh, at that town so um, I'm gonna speak more about this other brewery uh, Brauerei Unertel when I'm gonna review the, the other uh, those beers from that brewery but the um, the Unertel Weissbier Brauerei is um, some short information here in uh, 1948 uh, Alois Unartel 
a son of the wheat beer brewer in uh, Unartel in Mildorf, took over a small brewery with a tavern in Germany called uh, Bräustübel. And I'm going to read about what the Bräustübel is, so you know that it's a tavern in a brewery. Uh, in Bavaria and parts of Austria, the term Bräustübel refers to a tavern business connected to the brewery in which the brewed beer is, is served. It is very often owned by the brewery uh, concerned. It, the combination of brewery and the tavern is also referred to as Brauhaus in other parts of Germany. In the foreground of a gastronomic activity is the serving of self-brewed beer. There is usually a traditional Bavarian cuisine and the decor is rustic. Uh, the most famous Bräustübel in Obelbayern are the Monastery Andex and uh, in the Monastery Tegernsee. The designation of a Bräustübel is often also lead former breweries whose uh, affiliated brewery no longer exists. So that's a nice, nice uh, thing in my opinion. Um, yeah, where was I here? From the beginning he specialized in the brewery in the production of wheat beer. The current brewery was built in 1952. The pro product previously called Hagelweisbier has been called Unartel ever since. The fourth generation of the brewery is now run as a family business and the family can now look back on over a hundred years of brewing experience. The brewery's output is 27 hectoliters per year. Uh, all brewery beers are fermented in open vats and the yeast is harvested daily. The beers are made with 70% wheat malt fermented in the bottle, not preserved, not stabilized and not pasteurized. In 2009, the Süddeutsche Zeitung listed the Weissbier Original, which is this one, as uh, one of the 100 best beers in the world. The product range includes the types of Weissbier Original, light, white, non-alcoholic Weissbier, Ursud, and the seasonal Weisser Bock. In addition, a wheat goat uh, schnapps is produced, is um, bottled in bottle caps, uh, the wheat beer ori original and the Ursud is uh, uh, available in the flip top bottles. The brewery is a member of Brauring, a cooperation company of private breweries from Germany, Austria and Switzerland. And over to some, um, some longer history about the brewery. Uh, the uh, Unartel wheat beer brewery was created uh, where um, a place that you love to drink beer in today's Weisbräu in, in Haag. Uh, at the beginning of the 20th century, good beer was mostly brewed where it was consumed on site. At that time, the founder Alois I brewed a rare and extravagant top fermented beer in addition to the usual dark uh, ones, uh, which um, the one he did brew instead was wheat beer. Um, business and the brewery quickly gained modest fame due to the, their incomparable taste because the copper brew pans needed for brewing were unfortunately used for patriotic purposes in times of war the successor of Alois II was almost at the beginning again even if the circumstances butcher kettles and bottles were borrowed were more than uh, difficult, Alois II was able to demonstrate his entire artistry. No wonder, because he was not only a natural talent, but also studied brewing in the famous Andex Monastery. The success did not fail to uh, materialize. The brewing and filling process took place in today's brewery as early as 1952, and so the Hog wheat beer became Unartel. Not much has changed since the accept of the emissions. Brewing is still based on the founder's famous recipe. The result, then as now, is an amber malt and yeast aromatic wheat beer of very special quality and unmistakable taste. It is not for nothing the, that the fan base that swears by Unartel is growing steadily. Because tradition has always been very popular with us, the Unartel is still available in the original flip-top bottle and so, in addition to the incomparable enjoyment, the traditional and constant history speaks for the insider tip among real wheat beer connoisseurs. Un Apple. Um, and some more information about the brewery. We only do one thing, but that's good for it. 
True to our motto, we have focused on what we do best, brew wheat beer. Contrary to many other breweries, Unadl is a privately run family business. This guarantees durability, tradition and quality. And so we can concentrate on what uh, has been in our cradle for generations without pressure on commercial considerations. The Unadl wheat beer. Um, and so our strength is not only quantity but in the quality of our wheat beer brewed with uh, love and joy. This begins with a selection of raw materials and continues in a special brewing process. For our wheat beer we use instead of the prescribed 50%, over 70% wheat malt from controlled contract cultivation. This is brewed gently and time consuming in a special brewing process for our famous Unalpel wheat beer. Um, the spectacular open fermentation in oval vats in the culmination of the top fermenting fermented brewing. Uh, then the Unalpel can develop its typical round taste through a particularly gentle bottle fermentation. This is very complex and area intensive process is a rarity but in terms of quality it is a matter of course for us. Our beer is neither briefly or nor pasteurized which limits uh, our shelf line but it makes it unique in terms of taste. We don't want to produce camp food but rather fresh food. Since the Onatels themselves both uh, as consumers and a brew as a brewing family place very high demands on the on the qual high quality of their food it is also clear that in their own interest only the best gets uh, into the beer. Uh, and about this specific one I can read a beer that uh, you don't have to tell much about anymore. Legendary, unmatched and loved. Uh, so uh, I really look forward to this one because it feels like it's a real high quality uh, vice beer. And, um, one last look of the label before I'm going to open this one up. The Unertl Weisbier Original from the uh, Unertl Weisbier Brewery in uh, Hagen Oberbayern, Southern Bavaria. So uh, I really look forward to this because Weisbier, Weisbiers from uh, Bavaria, you know how much I love that. Uh, so as always, I'm gonna go through the technique with pouring up a vice beer, so you all learn that. First of all, you need uh, to have a vice beer glass, of course. Rinse the glass, use only cold water, no chemicals, don't dry it afterwards, keep it just the way it is. You can uh, maybe shake off a little bit of water, but keep it in in uh, the glass because it helps the, the uh, not only helps the beer to be poured in uh, the right way, but it also is um, removing the, um, the taste uh, from the glass w w if you've been keeping it for a long time. So wash it with cold water just before you pour up, pour up the beer. Um, after that, open up the bottle, the Unadl Weiss beer. And you hold the glass in an angle like this, 45 degree angle. And you let the beer be poured very slow and gently into the bottle. And you can turn it up to uh, start to build up a head, like that. And while there's a little bit left in the bottle, you swirl the bottle like this to make the yeast become a part of the beer again, the hefte. And, uh, that's because it's fermented, continue to ferment in the in the uh, the bottle, and then you pour up the rest like this, and um, there we have it. The um, one out the beer. Uh, which is quite uh, dark and amber in, uh, in its color. Don't know why... Uh, I 
it has been uh, getting stuck right here, but I'm gonna uh, wait for that. Very amber in color. Um, I haven't seen um, a wheat beer that's uh, this dark, but uh, that was also what I was reading about, so it was quite expected. Uh, but I don't know if you can see a little bit. Um, not as dark in the um, in the bottom as it is on the top, I guess, and the white head also that has unfortunately disappeared. Um, um, right now, but um, as I used to mention, I want to maintain a white head all the way through uh, during I'm drinking uh, the beer, especially with the white beer, because it keeps the the taste in the glass just the way it should be and uh, that's also what uh, what uh, people in Bavaria is doing continue to drink or start to drink while it's a very very big white head uh, foam head let's get the aroma quite quick yeah fresh um, the fruity freshness of the um, aroma coming from the wheat is, is uh, really appearing also the maltiness, um, since it's a little bit darker, is quite um, easy to to taste in the aroma. Um, yeah, this is gonna be really interesting, and uh, it's a so go and look uh, look at the website and how beautiful the brewery is located. It's amazing, the very very south of Bavaria. So uh, need to taste it. Prost. This really is something something special. So smooth, fresh, really nice. Uh, great have of ice this. Uh, it's fantastic. Something that I definitely recommend you to try. Maltiness and um, and the freshness um, from a typical ice beer is definitely there. Easy to to understand why this is the best. Um, most popular beer style in Bavaria, as always, is to say. Yeah, it's so nice. The um, Unartel Weissbier Original is something unique and great. Created by um, Alua Unartel. That's why it has this um, little bit uncommon name, but it's a uh, it's a great vice beer. That's what I can say. So um, definitely something I recommend you to try. The Unout vice beer. Really, really um, amazing and great. Um, really easy to enjoy. Very, very nice. That's it. That's the Unapple Weiss beer. What more can I say? Um, except of that it's great and uh, fantastic. Something you must try. Uh, Go and search uh, about the information about it, and um, you're gonna get interested about it because it's uh, it's really great. That's something I can promise. You're not gonna get disappointed, um, and um, it's also so beautifully located. Would like to visit that uh, that town and that brewery. It looks amazing. Um, with that said, I hope you continue to follow my channel, like my reviews, and this has been a really nice moment to try this one because I've been, I've been looking forward to it a lot. Um, and um, yeah, I think that's it. Like, comment, subscribe, and hope I see you again in the next um, German beer review.